yes hallelujah come on come on somebody um so beloved um i will graag hierdie volgende video in engels doen um so please bear with me um and as my engels data opraak as ek afrikaans praat but um you know so many of you have been sending me a lot of messages uh, and sending me messages asking for prayer uh, many of you have been sending me messages asking um you know that i keep your family in prayer that i keep your sons and your daughters in prayer many of you have been um you know telling me about your life stories and how you have been going through a lot of difficulties and a lot of trials and tribulations and so um you know as a person that has went through a lot of these difficulties myself and as a person that uh, that served the lord going through these difficulties i know how difficult it is to be going through uh the struggles and the tribulations and then still having to trust God for making the impossible possible and so i know that that's a very difficult journey um so i wanted to encourage you and obviously i can't send messages to all the people there's literally hundreds of messages coming into my inbox that i'm not able to respond to so i wanted to respond to these um the messages via this video you know there's an important scripture in job chapter 23 Uh, verse ten, verse ten, where the Bible says the following: He says, "For the Lord knows the way for that I have taken, for when He has tested me or when He has tried me, um, I will come forth as gold." And so, very often as believers, we will go through the most difficult uh, such situations that life can offer us. But you know what? That's an interesting scripture. So I studied that scripture in the last two weeks a lot because I myself and we have been going through a lot of trials and a lot of tribulations. And so when I when I uh study that scripture job 23 verse 10 um and it says that when he has tested me i will come forth as pure gold um that word test there comes from the hebrew uh word uh i think it's bakan or something like this and this word means to examine now as a lecturer um i examine students all the time at the medical school and i know what it is to examine and so when we go and understand what the purpose of examination is we begin to understand that the purpose of um an exam an exam is really to examine whether the student has learned the concept whether the student has understood the concept the second so, so whether learning took place the second thing and the second purpose of course of an exam is to see whether there was some form of development in other words that the student walked into the classroom and he didn't know a thing and then he went under went some form of development so that by the time that the lecture is done there's not just a learning that took place but the person or the student also developed and so when the bible says that god tests us He really means that God is not trying to kill you. He really means that it is not the plan of God to destroy you by putting you through these things or allowing these things to happen in your life. It is really just a test. It is a stage that will pass soon. It is a way of God that will say I will preserve you for the next level. So that maak jy saak waar deur jy gaan vir dag hierdie maak jy saak wat die omstandighede is die man die Here gaan jou daar deur wat God is besig met jou man die Here is besig om jou te develop sodat jy kan ontwikkel in 'n beter persoon sodat jy kan ontwikkel and so the bible speaks about this uh die woord van die Here sê dat vir mense vulde is die teespoede van 'n gelovige maar uit elkeen van hulle sal die Here hom red all the afflictions of the righteous but the lord will deliver him out of it all so it is important for you to go through that process you know i know there's people sending me messages people saying that i've been praying to god to give me a baby i've i've received so many many couples saying you know we know that god can do this but please help us pray because we we we've been married for 8 years we've been married for 9 years and we still trust trusting god to have a baby and you know what dear friend i'm i'm not just putting up this video for attention i'm putting up this video because i i just can't get to all the messages and i want to inspire you today that while god is taking you through this process be encouraged that there's something that awaits for you at the end of it all you know there was a time i just spoke this morning at grace kick i spoke about this i remember a time when um uh, when us as a family we went through a very difficult time financially we were struggling ons het swaar gekry en ek sal nooit vergeet die een dag en en nou toe sal by mense gaan leen vir kos en die mense raak moeg want hulle gee vir jou kos en geld vir op 'n stuk 'n sekere stadium en 'n sekere punt en dan raak hulle moeg vir jou um in in en wel nie meer help jy en en ons kry geweldig swaar ons het nou alles 
uh, ons, ons, ons goed verkoop, zodat so ons kon eet, ek het my gitaar verkoop, zodat uh, so ons kon eet, ek het my keyboard verkoop, zodat so ons as familie net in minste kos op een stafel kan eet, dit is hoe zwaar het met ons gegaan het, maar weet jy, liewe luisteraar, nee, ons, ons, um, my ma gaan enig en sy krijg toe werk by een company, na dat sy vir jare so onder werk was, ek wil iemand in karies met die woord vanmiddag, en my ma gaan, um, sy vat die trein dus op pad werk toe, en terwijl sy in die trein staan, is sy geweldig bedroef, en sy is geweldig bekommerd, en het gaan die dag gedacht is, wanneer gaan die heren dan vir my deur kom, wanneer gaan die heren die deurbraak maak, en terwijl in die trein staan, kom my vrou en my vrou tik aan haar skoor, en die vrou sê vir haar my vrou, ek ken nie vir u nie, ek ken nie vir u nie, maar terwijl ek hier staan en ek kyk vir u so, toe sê die geest van die heren, gaan sê net vir die vrou, sy moet nie so worstel met my nie, sy moet nie so baie vraag vir my vraag nie, want haar deurbrak is op pad, sê net vir haar, sy moet nie moed opgeen nie, en ek wil vir iemand in karies, weet jy, as jy vandag vir my moes vraag, jy, ek sê die heren vir jou, nou omtrend by my standig heren, daar wil ek vir jou sê, weet jy, toe ek stil sit en ek sit hier by die werk, en ek hoor duidelik hoe sê die geest van God vir my, hoor duidelik hoe sê die geest van die heren vir my, sê vir my kinders, this is not the time to give up, this is not the time to give up, as jy al ooit gevoel het, jy wil moed opgee, en jy handdoek ingooi, die is nie die tyd, is te nabie vir jou om nou moed op te gee, jy weet, daar is een koorkie wat Joseph Berg sing, jy mag hulle is Joseph Berg, hy sing die koorkie, hy sê, jou deurbraak is voor die deur, en ek voel vir oogend, terwijl ek rui in my kar, sê die jaren vir my duidelik man, sê vir my volk, this is not the time to give up hope, want jou deurbraak is te nabie vir jou om moed op te gee, en ek wil vir iemand vandag in kar, iets die kappels wat so vraag, en sê, wanneer gaat die jaren vir ons een kind gee, jou kind is op pad man, ek weet die jaren gaan het vir jou doen, and I'm not saying this, because it is something that I heard of, dis nie iets, ek sê nie dit, omdat ek, omdat ek dit, iemand het vir my geleer, soos een mankie om dit te reed, ek sê dit omdat ek weet wie God is man, ek weet dat God is in staat om jou leven te verander, die Heere is in staat om jou omstandighede te verander, hoe voel die Heere in die plek, want die woord van die Heere sê dat toe God die lot van Sion verander, toe ons ons die wat droom, so die Heere is bezig om iemandse lot te verander, soos waterstrome in die Suidland, en het mag miskie, bezig om die constructiewerk te doen, hy is bezig om die fondamaat, fondatie en die fondament op te lig en nieuwe fondatie neer te leen in jou leven en het vat om miskien een tykie, het vat om miskien een tykie, maar this is not the time to give up, jy weet ek gesels met, ek vertel vanochtend vir mense, dat ek sit enig by die huis en ek chat met die jongman, ek chat met die jongman wat ek probeer mentor die afgelopen tyd en ek geself met die jongman en in die aand, elf uur gaan ek raak ek aan die slaap, terwijl ons bezig is om te chat, raak ek aan die slaap en die volgende dag stier ek om een boodskap ek sê vir hom, my vriend is jou raad, hoe gaan het met jou, het jou raad geslaap en iemand anders antwoord en die persoon sê vir my, dis die hy wat chat die, dis die sister wat chat en onmiddellik krijg ek een skok in my binnenste, ek dink, jyre, hoe kom vir die chat sy sister aan met my, en sy sê vir hom, jammer om vir u te laat weet, maar hy probeer sel moord pre laas nacht en hy is in die hospitaal en ons is bekommerd of ons weet jy of hy gaan oorleef jy, en weet jy ek sit daar en ek dink by myself so, daar so baie in die laaste week, praat ek met meer as 10 mense, wie vir my sê, Gerald, ons is moeg, want dan kom die heren vir ons deur, dit voel net as of God die deur kom hy, en mense wie vir my sê, dalke self hoor het beter, jy weet, en ons lewe in hierdie seisoen, wat die geest van die dood uit is, of mense sy leven spreem het so te stop, kinders van die heren wat sê, weet jy, Gerald, ons is moeg man, ons kan nie meer nie, en vandag wil ek hierdie video opzet, om vir iemand te sê, don't give up, now this is not, this is not the time,